an advanced thinking skills course for academics in Trinity. It's based on a cognitive psychology of expertise and it's designed to accelerate the transition from expert to elite expert. Um, and this course, sorry, this talk is going to like describe some of the basic principles. Um, so, so first some bad news. Uh, conventional education is, is in something of a crisis. Uh, dumbing down, uh, lowered standards, uh, declining attainment rates. Um, I'm going to argue that this is, this is like symptomatic of a more fundamental problem um, within education and that the, sorry, that did, the entire slide should have come up there. But basically, so the conventional education is fundamentally suboptimal at the paradigm level. Um, and, and from a scientific perspective, essentially misses the point. And I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So in order to understand that, you have to understand the nature of knowledge and the nature of expertise. So knowledge is a no, technical knowledge is, um, is logically structured, integrated from concepts to theory to principle to paradigm. Uh, and the, pro the, 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 the the, uh, the, pro the, the process of becoming an expert is largely the process of integrating that implied logical structure. So the superior um, learning, sorry, the superior um, problem solving, uh, memory and recall of experts is largely a function of their superior sort of knowledge structure. And conversely with novices, their, uh, their uh, lower levels of uh, performance are directly related to their fragmented, not poorly organized knowledge. So, <laughs> So you can, it's like you, you can essentially say them, like a corollary of that is that how difficult you find a subject is essentially a direct function of the quality of your, of your um, level of connected understanding within the subject. And uh, again, like a, a, like a secondary corollary is that um, as you progress within a subject, there's a, it, there's a progressive improvement. Um, sorry, my slides are being a bit messed up here. There's a progressive improvement in the quality of our, uh, of our knowledge structure, which is, is, is linked to enhanced problem solving and accelerated learning. So you can see that this is a conventional representation of the, the progression of expertise. Um, so it's to transition from like a student with a fragmented, non-hierarchical, poorly organized knowledge, which is, tr is, is gradually transformed, reorganized into a more sort of um, integrated, hierarchically structured. Um, I'm going to basically argue here that that inefficient tr transition from expert to novice is, is ultimately down to the, the, un the underlying par black box paradigm, this, this question-answer, input-output approach to, uh, to, uh, to education, whereby the quality of, of our knowledge structure, which is the direct determinant of, how, how, um, our, of our level of performance, is indirectly assessed using questions and answers. Um, so, just this waiting here. Um, I'm going to I, I, like I, I'm, I propose a fundamentally alternative paradigm for uh, like for education. Um, this cartographic metaphor, whereby we sort of explicitly construct logically uh, uh, logical um, uh, knowledge structures, ex expert like uh, knowledge structures. Um, so that that's a, that implies a fundamentally different transformation or tra like a translation from novice to expert, from a, a mini expert almost, where you, you build this expert like structure uh, and then. Progr sorry, progressively elaborate that. So this cartographic paradigm is essentially everything that the black box paradigm is not. It's, uh, it directly addresses the, the principal determinant of performance within its subject. It's efficient, it's transparent, it's scalable, and it's comprehensive. So I can give you a quick example here. So this is a definition of capital. It's taken from a secondary school uh, business, uh, um, business dictionary. And it's simple enough that you can easily memorize it using, like, using rote learning, regurgitate it in, 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 in an exam, and to get full marks for it. Um, this, this is an alternative approach whereby we sort of essentially knowledge engineer the, the, the conceptual deep structure of this, uh, of this knowledge. Uh, for example, like, uh, like the impl implication is that factor sorry, capital is a subset of factor production. So by pulling out this conceptual deep structure and then integrating it, we, we uh, pull out this expert-like representation which we can then use as a sort of conceptual scaffold upon which we can then uh, add in new information and drive deeper insights. So once you've done that, like you can start print ba basically going mad, and you can start like abstracting, pulling out like deeper levels of, of like of knowledge. Um, and abstraction is, is cru crucially important for developing expertise. It's almost like climbing a mountain. The higher you go, the the um, the, the more patterns you see in the in the surrounding surrounding landscape. So that brings us to the talk. The, sorry, the title of the, of the talk: Reverse Engineering Genius. We can use exactly the same knowledge engineering approaches to reverse engineer the products of of like of genius. And um, so pulling out the underlying deep structure conceptual deep structure. Um, so as a result, I'd like to sort of, um, like, uh, leave you with a positive, a positive thought um, like of Ireland in like in 20 years time or so. 
where every citizen is trained in these deep, deep learning techniques. Um, and that's basically it. Thanks very much. <laughs>